If you guys don't know, the reason why I'm kind of whispering every time I make these videos is because it's early in the morning and I'm trying not to wake up my family. Uh, so that can be expected for every video. Today is the day of the Cuca Lake Gravel Classic. I'm really looking forward to this one. I am a little nervous. I've never done a gravel race. I mean, if you've seen my other gravel video, that was really my first gravel ride, and this will be my second gravel ride. Um, but it is a big one, uh, over 50 miles and 5,000 feet of climbing. So uh, just kind of jumping into the deep end a little bit. Going with Devin. Yeah, Devin! And uh, it's gonna be a blast. I'm just trying to remember that, um, you know, I'm out there to have fun. This is a steep one. The spirit of gravel will be with us, so. the video and maybe you'll come out next year if, uh, if I don't see you out there. have the gearing for this. <laughs>
right guys, so that was my Cuca Lake gravel classic experience. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, I just want to point out a few things from the video that um, you may have noticed, you may not have, but the turns were all marked super well. Um, the amount of volunteers and just organization that must have gone into this was huge and really made the event just top notch. Um, I mean, I had the GPS on my computer, but I wouldn't have even needed it. I mean, everything was marked so well. Um, the amount of uh, marshals on every single turn. It was fantastic. Um, they even had the uh, little feed zone set up that you probably saw. Um, the amount of uh, spectators that were on a lot of the climbs um, to be able to give you that motivation on those tougher climbs. I mean, they were pretty much on all of them. I think they were there were somewhere between 14 and 15 climbs. Um, and a lot of them were very rough uh, from somebody who doesn't do a lot of climbing, doesn't do a lot of gravel, um, finding that traction um, and trying to get up those hills, even with maybe not uh, perfect gearing for it um, was a challenge, but it was a welcome challenge. Um, the, some of the views that um, overlooked the water, through the vineyards. It was just spectacular. I think it was almost an advantage for me to fall off the group at some point uh, so that I could take in some of those views because I think I would have missed it if I was really on the limit the entire time um, to be able to turn the camera on and catch some of the stuff uh, was really special. So. Um, thank you so much for the people that put on the Cuca Lake Gravel Classic, Stu Ben Brewing for um, hosting it. Um, I'll leave a couple of shots of uh, the awards and everything that was after. The, the vibe at this place was just so great. I mean, so many people hung out, um, were eating and drinking after the race. It was uh, just a really, really special event. So um, I suggest you come out and try it next year, even if you really don't know a lot about gravel. I don't, like I said, this is my second gravel ride ever. There's really, I think there was only two really technical sections. It was just a couple of downhills. Um, for me, they were technical. I mean, some people were flying by me. Um, maybe they have a mountain bike background. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a baby when it comes to uh, the chunky um, gravel on those descents, but I was definitely struggling. Um, and holding brakes and maybe going like 10 miles per hour down, uh, down those two challenging descents. Um, the normal gravel ones, I was able to just rip it and they were nice and flowy and um, just could take in the sights and it, it was really beautiful. But uh, yeah, hopefully next year I'll come back and, and have a little bit more uh, ability to take those, those more technical descents at speed. But um, we'll see. Either way, I'll be back next year, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there, too. <laughs> and in this category for the New York State Championship, 